Welcome back to another video everybody. This is Scotty and today we're going to make a base salt road generator. The first thing you need to do is clear out a dry dock. We are going to make a 4x4 four four opening that is three blocks deep to build the redstone in. Now that we have our opening, let's go ahead and place a slime block here, one block below the lava, and place a sticky piston next to it, then a row of slime blocks in front of it, and some soil soil in front of that. Actually, we need the slime block on top of the piston, so let's go ahead and delete it and bring it up by three and out by one. Let's place on a temporary block here and then an observer observing it. Then we can go ahead and delete it. Now let's go ahead and place on another temporary block and bring some blue ice across the soil soil followed by some slime blocks on top of it. Let's go ahead and place a slime block here. Place a sticky piston next to it on this side, and then a normal piston on this side. Place down some temporary blocks up here. Delete the lower one, and have an observer observing the air above it. Now before we delete these, go ahead and make sure you have some obsidian here to stop it from starting. Because that would be bad. Okay, it looks like everything is done now that the blocks are ready. So let's go ahead and clear out our dry dock. And with that, this should be complete. So if we go ahead and start this piston here, it should pull this forward and continue on going. And here we go. We now have a road being made. Let's go ahead and stop this for now. Now, occasionally there may be a block that was missed, so you will have to be careful and place new blocks in occasionally. It's not that often, but it does happen. Now, if you want a fancy road and you want to bring up the sides, let's go ahead and build another contraption. Go ahead and build up two temporary blocks here. Delete the lower two and place a sticky piston looking down. You will want to repeat this on both sides. Place two slime blocks in the middle. Bring it out by two temporary blocks. Delete the center block and then have some observers observing the temporary blocks. Then you can go ahead and get rid of those. Place a slime block on top of the slime blocks with a normal piston next to it. Place a slime block in front of the normal piston. Place down some temporary blocks and then place a sticking piston next to the slime block. Place some temporary blocks going up and then an observer observing up above the slime block. As soon as we delete this block, the machine should start. And it left the pistons behind. 
Let's go ahead and stop it and put them back in. Not sure why it did that, but with flying machines, they occasionally do do weird things. Okay, that side's working, and this one's working. We shouldn't need an observer here, but we'll put one here just in case. And then we'll delete this. And we should start this one up, and we didn't make it in time. That is a downside, is you have to run these independently, they're not one machine, but overall they do work. And there you go, you now have yourself a basalt road. I mean, you can run it independently or run them side by side based on how you want your road to look. But overall, it is quite simple to build. Now, the question is, can you do this in the overworld? And we are going to find out. So let's say for some odd reason you decided to have a custom world where everything is lava and you want to get over to that village over there. Will the basalt road generator work here? Let's go ahead and build our dry dock and the machine. This one is built a little bit differently because I knew what was going to happen. The way the lava flows in the overworld, it is not as fast and it will occasionally leave lots and lots of openings. So the answer is yes and no. It will work, but you need to slow it down even more than what I did here. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.